his family could only watch as he cried for help. The hollering went on for hours, barely audible over the roar of the thrashing French broad river. Bruce people shouted from shore. One word was all Bruce could master in response, and they replied it agonizingly help. Mr. T, 75, was clinging to a tree, surrounded by a torrent of murky brown water that had just crushed his trailer home and flung him onto the tree. He was less than 50 yards from shore, 45 meters, but the way the river was moving, he seemed to be on a remote other island. For roughly seven hours, his family, friends, and neighbors looked on from the railroad tracks, uphill from the edge of the surging water. They pulled out a pair of binoculars and trained the car's high beams on the tree that had become his lifeline. But it was hard to spot him. Still, they could hear his cries for help. I'm not going to tell you I'm going to have nightmares about it, but why wouldn't I? Said the S, a long-time neighbor who was among the people shouting from the riverbank, to hear somebody yelling help for hours and to not be able to get to him is just sickening to me. The harrowing scene took place on Friday night along rolling road in the Marshall, North Carolina, a town of about 800 people that was more or less wiped out, wiped off the map by tropical storm Helen. Local residents said they had never seen the river rise so quickly, or so high, or become so violent. It ripped through the town, destroying houses and businesses, overturning a railroad car, and spewing mud all the way up a church steps and into the back pews. Everything's done, said that M, the owner of Mel's a bar in town where people play pool, smoke out to the black, smoke out to the back and jam to oldies on Thursday night. We weren't ready for this much water. Mr. T was raised on Rollings Road, about a mile up the railroad tracks from downtown Marshall. So many of his relatives live along that road that one neighbor called it Tipterland. Mr. T was known for his red pickup truck, his black Germany shepherd, and his quiet country demeanor. A Navy veteran who always wore suspenders, he could sometimes come up as a grump. Friends and relatives said, but he had a warm, generous side and enjoyed a good joke. The children of one of his nicest nieces took to calling him slow poker because of his pleas for them to slow down on their bicycles so he could keep up.